body weight workout. For this workout, we just need one dumbbell, a good heavy one, because we're going to be working just with that one. And um, you can do it without the weight if you want. If you're new to weights, definitely go lighter or just drop the weight all together. No problems with that. We are going to be hitting upper body, lower body, our core, everything in this workout. We are going to do eight reps of each move and we're going to do two circuits three times through. So let's get straight into it, placing our hands at our shoulders and we're going to warm up with some good elbow circles here, really working it around. So forward, and then back the other way, warming up our shoulders. Great work. And then we're going to come in and we're going to tap our elbows together and then open them and stretch open into that chest and tap and open. Tap, open it out, tap, open, and one more, tap and open, great work, shake that out. Coming out into a wide-ish squat, and we're gonna come down just as far as you're comfortable, rotate in between, so just moving side to side, and then down to get a bit of a hamstring stretch again, you can move side to side. If you can't touch the ground, just up here is totally fine, just don't put your hands on your knees, so on your shins or on your thighs. And again, coming down and working into it. And stretching out. Great, keep that movement going. And down. And stretch up. Feel it into those hamstrings, down the back of the leg. Great work, coming up and bringing it down and into our child's pose. So bringing it back, lengthening back, stretching out into that and then come forward into a low cobra and look over one shoulder and the other shoulder, pushing it back. Now with this low cobra, you'll notice that my um, pubic bone doesn't actually go onto the ground. I'm keeping my rib cage stacked over my pelvis. I don't have a very flexible lower back. So I don't go down too far, but I just want you to work through and keeping everything kind of stacked. I'm gonna go as far as you can and looking over one shoulder and over the other shoulder and coming back again into this child's pose. Great work. Now I want you to come back into hands and knees. So knees are together, sit back onto your heels, one elbow onto the ground, other hand to your ear. You're going to tap elbows and then open up. Really keeping your bum on your heels so that you're working into that thoracic area. And let's do one more this side. And open, great work. Hand down, switch it over. Keeping our bum back allows us to not use our lower back. So we really work into that thoracic spine. And down. And up. And one more. Great work. Just bringing it back, you can either go into child's pose or pulling up into a down dog and pedaling out your feet. It's getting into that calf and Achilles. And again, with this one, keep your legs bent if you need to in order to keep that rib cage stacked. And then bring your leg forward to that runner's lunge. You can drop your knee if you wish or keep it up. And then we're going to arm circle and back. And bringing it back, pedal it out, just working into the hips and back of the leg there. 
Bring it into that runner's lunge. Drop your knee if you need to. Otherwise, nice big arm circle. And back. And we'll do one more on each side. If you're not comfortable in down dog, just change to child's pose. And bringing it forward. Rotate. And back. And last one. Bringing it forward. Rotate. And back. Dropping it down. Coming back into that child's pose. Let's do one last stretch to the side. Good breath. And over to the other side. Excellent work. All right, let's get ready for our first circuit. We're going to grab that single weight. And we've got three exercises and we're going to be doing them eight times. And we are working through the circuit three times. Our first one is going to be a hip hinge, row, stand. Hip hinge, row, stand. Our second exercise, we are doing a lateral lunge, snatch to our shoulder, step back into a um, reverse lunge. So lateral lunge, snatch to our shoulder, step back into the reverse lunge. And our third exercise is a core one where you have the option of holding the weight in two hands. We're gonna do a chest press, then knee lift, knee lift. Chest press, knee lift, knee lift. The advanced option would be to have your legs up and chest press, tap, tap. Chest press and tap, tap. All right, let's get straight into it with our hinges. So holding the weight in two hands, at your thighs, and we are pushing back, weight slides down, row, squeezing those shoulder blades, exhale and stand. Push back, row, exhale as you stand. Push back, this is three, exhale as you stand. With the row, make sure you're squeezing those shoulder blades. And squeeze the glutes as you stand. We have one more. Excellent work. Coming here, we're going to do our lateral lunge into our reverse lunge. So we are coming down to the lateral. Bring the weight up. Step back. And in. And down. Pull it up. Down and up. Great work. Really reaching with your butt going backwards. And now think about that knee staying in line with the ankle. And exhale as you come up. Down and up. Great work. Up and up. We're into number five. Down, exhale, and down. This is a great workout even without the weight. So if you need to, drop the weight. And we're working on our balance, so we're also working on our core. Last one this way. Down and up. Excellent work. Switch hands. Come over to the other side. And lateral lunge. Tap. Regain your balance with that tap. Excellent. Down. Exhale as you come up, step back, and in. Number three, exhale, down, and up. Great work. This is four, and pull up. And five, try not to lose balance like me. And back, and up. And down, last one, up, back, and up. Great work, coming straight down onto the mat. Coming down onto your side, and roll over. Weight 
bring your legs up to that tabletop. Otherwise, you're with me. And exhale and press down. Knee lift, knee lift. And down. Knee and knee. Exhale. Down, knee and knee. Really think about nothing is moving when you're lifting your knees. We have four more. And up. Knee and knee. And knee and knee. Great work. Two more. And and two. Last one. Fantastic. You did it. That is our first circuit. So coming over, we're going to repeat that two more times. So standing up, weight close. Make sure when you do your deadlift, it slides down your legs. We don't want the weight out here. And long neck, pull up on the pubic bone. And push it back, squeeze the shoulder blades, and squeeze the glutes as you stand up. Push, and squeeze. Really lengthen those glutes. Keep your head in line. So don't look up, look in front of you on the ground, so that you can really keep that core engaged. And I think this is five. And six. I really um, need to learn how to count. Seven. Really squeeze those shoulder blades. And eight. Great work. Coming to the edge. We are, let me go this way first because that's what I did last time. Stepping this way, hand in, weight in the opposite hand. And it goes down. Snatch. Step back. And up and down, snatch, step back, and up, down, exhale, step back, and up, down, exhale, step back, and up, four more, down, up, step back, and up, three more, back, and up. Remember that nice long neck. And up. Step back. And up. Down. Up. Step back. And up. Over to the other side. And push the bum back. Snatch. Down. And up. Two. Down. And up. Each time you're coming up, you're doing that on the exhale. Down. And up. And down. And up. Four more. Down. And up. Great work. Down. And up. Two more. Really focus on that exhale, working with the core as well. Down and up. Great work. Let's go down onto the ground. Rolling it down, keeping the weight nice and close to you as you roll over. If you're doing the advanced version, come up to tabletop. Otherwise, keep your legs down. If you're in tabletop, make sure you're pulling up from the pubic bone to lower that, um, get that lower back a little closer to the ground. And exhale, and in, tap, and tap. And in, tap or lift with your knee. Tap, go to your own progression there. Tap, and tap. Down, tap, and tap, that's four. And tap, and tap, that's five. Down, tap, and tap, that's six. Great work. One more. Uh, tap, and tap. Fantastic, bringing the legs down, roll over, and we 
have one more round. Let's get going. So standing up, weight nice and close. Feet hip width apart, long neck. So really think about that long neck and keeping that long neck throughout the exercise. So pushing back, squeeze the shoulder blades, exhale and squeeze. Push it back, squeeze and up. Push it back, squeeze the shoulder blades, exhale and up, that's three. Four, five, inhale, exhale, and push. Two more. Last one. And up, great work. Coming over.
The other leg is kind of like our kickstart. You are hinging back, rowing, then lifting up to a knee lift and back. Down, down, row, and exhale up. If you are brave, you can do it as a single deadlift and exhale to up. Single deadlift, exhale to up. Or you can do tap, single deadlift, exhale up, tap, okay? Tap if you need to. Start with the staggered one though. And then our last exercise, which is our core one, is our head lift. So we're not going to use the weights. Instead, you're going to focus either arm. An inhale and an exhale. Just a little chin hover. So basically, your head is coming an inch off the ground. So it's inhale, exhale, tuck the chin. If you haven't done head lifts before. Otherwise, we are going to inhale, exhale, lift our head and the tops of our shoulders off. As a head lift, advanced option, arms supporting your head and lengthened. Very advanced option, lengthened legs, lengthened arms, okay? Your choice with a head hover, a head lift, or the use of the long legs, um, arms, and long legs, okay? The longer the lever, the harder the exercise is. So the hardest being with both the arms and legs extended. All right, let's get going. Weight under our chin, semi-squat position, Pull up from the pubic bone and side step, side step, push up and down. Side, two, exhale and down. Knees pointing forward, exhale, down, side, side, squeeze and down. Two, squeeze and down, one, Two, squeeze, down, last set, one. Two, squeeze, down, one. Two, squeeze, down, great work. Going into that staggered deadlift, that staggered position, feet still hip width apart, and push back. Squeeze with that row, exhale, come up. And push back, row, exhale, up, push back, row, exhale, up, great work, push back, row, exhale, up, that's four.
90 degrees. That's three. Four. Help your ribs. Five. They may need to come in as you lift. They may need to go out. Six. Seven. Eight. Great work. Rolling over. With those um, head lifts, we really want the rib cage to come to that 90 degrees. So as you lift, some of you who have wide ribs may need to help direct the ribs in so that it ends up at that 90 degrees. If you have really narrow rib cage, some people do, you may, as you lift up, you may need to think about those internal obliques and try and keep your rib cage actually a little wider because we want it to be at that 90 degrees, okay? So just keep an eye on what's happening. If they come in too much, then your external obliques are taking over and really bringing them in, and the internal obliques aren't doing enough work, okay? So just keep your hands on that rib cage to really help with that. Let's grab the weight up. Bring the weight to under our chin. Little semi-squat. Pull up from the pubic bone to protect the back. Make sure the glutes are relaxed and lengthened. And step. And two. Push up and down. One. And two. Push up and down. One. Two. Exhale as you lift and down. One. Two. Lift and down. Make sure the weight is in front of your head as you go forward, not on top of your head. That's what's going to flare the ribs. Two more, one, and two, exhale, and down, one, and two, exhale, and down. Fantastic work. Into that staggered deadlift, or if you're brave, you can try a single leg deadlift. So we're going down, exhale, Lift and down and lift down. That's three, four. Really focus on the core as you pull up. Five, long neck. Six, don't open it up because that's. Laying control of your core. Last one. Great work. Woo. All right. Other side. Let's see if I can keep my balance. And down. Exhale. Pull it up one. Two. Three. If you need to, tap and come up. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Woo! Good work. All right, coming down. That way down. Working on those head lifts. Coming down. Want to make it a little harder, you can bring the arms behind. They basically your head is resting on your hands. And exhale as you lift, hold, and down. Make sure the bottom of the rib cage stays on the ground as you lower. I don't want to see any sort of rocking of the rib cage. It's about the control coming down as well, which really helps that upper diastasis. And we'll call that six. And seven. And eight, now whilst you're here, check your rib cage. Is it 90 or is it too wide or narrow? And relax. 
it was too wide or too narrow next time I want you to make sure you do it with your hands on your rib cage so you can really feel what is happening with that all right guys last round and whoo we're coming up I need to remember to turn the heat pump off before I do my workouts and push it back pull it up from the pubic bone and side and two exhale and down one two exhale and down one two exhale and down that's great one two and down keep it going one two exhale and down so it's a great workout <laughs> two it's getting our legs and our shoulders and our glutes up and down last one one and two exhale and down fantastic back into that deadlift remember we can just stagger it or the single leg whatever you're doing really focus on that hinge motion so push it back row and bring it up push it back row and bring it up great work push it back row bring it up this is four and five six seven and eight great work let's go other side and push it back row pull it up one and two and three great work and four really think of that hinge squeeze five six make sure you hold that last position seven can you hold it here and eight Woo! that's quite the core workout as well put that weight down you're not going to need it again come down onto the ground and again remember hands on your rib cage if needed i'm going to do the last to fast option legs are out and inhale exhale lift when you inhale and come down keep that upper back on the ground two three four five six seven eight take a moment check your ribs and come down way to go guys we did it let's come up happy baby pose come in and just rock it out this will feel great for the glutes for the hips for the lower back and that pelvic floor so take a moment inhale feel that pelvic floor relax it's done a lot of work today and again inhale and exhale one more inhale and exhale great work one leg down the other foot over that knee bring it up let's work into the glute and the piriformis pushing that knee out again if you want to just rock do what feels good it doesn't have to be a static stretch and let's switch legs 
Bring the other one in. There we go. Stretch it out. Oh, that feels great. All right. And let's bring it over. Coming over onto our side. Coming back. I want to come back into a child's pose. Make it a bit of a wide knee one. Head down. And now I want you to inhale. Nice deep inhale. Feel that pelvic floor relax. And exhale. Don't cue anything. Inhale and relax. And exhale. Bring over to your arms over to one side. Drop the hips to the other. Feel that stretch up the side. And over to the other side. Excellent work, everybody. Woo! That was awesome, guys. If you enjoyed that workout, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you are notified when new workouts are released. And check out Confident Fitness for Mums, where there are hundreds of diastasis and pelvic floor safe workouts and monthly calendars to follow.